could hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Vijay. I'm a, a consultant in plastic surgery working in a Command Hospital Panchkala. Uh, so uh, today I'm going to present uh, one of a uh, very interesting topic named the circumocious wire fixation for metacarpal fractures. Uh, actually, as we all know that uh, the hand fractures is mainly taken care of by the plastic surgeon, not the orthopedicians, because they have a very uh, minor details, segments or fragments, uh, which need a very specialized care in the fixations. Uh, so. In this uh, presentation, I'm going to just revisit uh, one of the very, uh, I can say, uh, forgotten method, which we usually use in earlier days, is that is the circumocious wire for the metacarpal fractures. So to start with the topic, uh, metacarpal fractures, they mainly comprises 18 to 44 percent of all the uh, hand fractures. And most common fracture in the metacarpal are the fifth metacarpal fractures. Uh, metacarpal fractures are mainly, it may be an open, closed, intra-articular or extra-articular fracture, oblique fractures, transverse, spiral, cameted. There are various varieties of fractures which are uh, being, uh, which uh, we usually deal with. So if you go through this uh, uh, slide, you can see that it's an intra-articular fracture. Uh, which are named, some of them are named like Bennett fracture, Ronaldo fractures, intra-articular committed fracture, transverse fractures, oblique fractures. These all type of fractures are there. There are different methods to deal with all type of fractures. But in this paper, we usually deal with a shaft fracture where there is a transfer oblique, oblique fractures are present. So how to manage these type of fractures? If you see, uh, management is totally depend upon whether the fracture has a rotational deformity, minimally displaced deformity, or there is a wide variety of displacement present. So total management is totally depend on whether the fracture is having any deformity or not. If there is no rotational deformity or the fracture is not displaced or just a minimally displaced, we usually go with a conservative management with a POP cast. But if the fracture sites having a maximum displacement, then there are the various methods which we usually use are K wires, screw and plates, the minimal uh, small sites, screw and plates 1.5 mm, lag screw, introsious wiring, K wire, or the dental loop wires. So here are some of the fractures. If you see in a slide, there are some of the fractures where the management has been done with the K wires, where the screw lag screws. Here is the K wire we have used it. Here, if you see the plate and the screws we have used it, is the multiple fractures. So multiple screw and plates of uh, different sizes we have used it. These are the pre-op, and here is some of the post-op photographs we are having. So uh, about this. Uh, method which we have revisited earlier in uh, somewhere about 36 years ago, Grofer and Atal, they have used this dental wire in circumosis fixation for the spiral and the oblique fractures. But their technique has not been widely accepted. It is mainly because this technique did not gain any popularity as he believed that for the bone always has to be scored to prevent the wire from migrating. And this usually causes the weakening of the already fractured bone. So uh, this method has not been widely accepted by most of our plastic surgeons or the, most of the uh, persons who are dealing with this type of fractures. So other methods have come up in the pictures like external fixators, like this one, just fixators. So what we have done, we have just compared uh, this type of fractures in the different type of management. Like uh, some of the cases, we have used the screw and plate in some of the where we have used the K wire. And in some of the cases, we use as the circumosseous wire. So this whole study has been taking place in my only department, that is Department of Plastic Surgery at the Command Hospital in Chandi Mandir. And it's a prospective cohort study, time frame from 2015 to 2019. Uh, we have done this uh, study. And all the patients who have represented to us with the such type of fracture uh, is included in this study. Ethical class has already been taken. So 
inclusion criteria. Inclusion criteria is we have the metacarpal fracture, which has the rotational deformity, angulation of the fracture fragment. These are the inclusion criteria. We have not taken the intra-articular fractures in this study. So as we all know that the acceptable, there is some acceptable angulations which are present there. If you go through the metacarpal bone, which is having a shaft and a neck, the angulation which is acceptable are in the index finger, 10 degree angulation is acceptable. So you need not to do anything. You need not to intervene in that type of cases. And uh, middle is a 15%. In ring and the smallest, 13, 40% angulation is acceptable at the neck level. And at the shaft level, index finger, 0% is acceptable. You have to intervene if there is a fracture at the shaft level. In middle finger, also zero. In ring and a small, 20 to 30% uh, degree of angulation is acceptable in such type of case, such type of cases. So what we excluded, we excluded those metacarpal fractures which are functional and radiologically stable. We haven't intervened in such type of cases. We only deal with those cases which require our interventions. So the sample size is totally, we have studied in this four years, 121 cases who are fulfilling the inclusion criteria. And those cases who are excluded, uh, doesn't fill up, we excluded those type of cases. Uh, so a uh, short breakup, uh, like k -well, we have 37 cases where we have fixed uh, with the k -well, plate and a screw, another 37, and circumosseous wire. We have 54 number of cases where the circumosseous wire, we have used it. All the data has been uh, collected. Uh, demographic data, the radiology of injury, whether it's occurred because of the trauma, uh, because of something fall on their head, everything has been noted and it's been properly uh, documented. And which metacarpal involved, it has also been their type of fractures, their method of fixation and follow. Everything has been uh, documented in that. So if you see that method of fixation, if you see in this type of cases where the pain has been reduced after four weeks of follow-up, if you see this thing, in case circumosis where pain has been reduced almost about all of the cases, which we have seen, okay, as compared to K-Ware, where there is a less, and as compared to plating also, there is a minimal pain or mild pain is always present there. Similarly, with the swelling also, we have a positive outcome in a circumstances wiring and a stiffness too. So what we have done in these type of cases under the regional anesthesia or under some of the cases we require a general anesthesia also like in the children's or very old ladies who are uh, not willing for the supraclavicular or the axillary block, we have taken them under the GA. So prophylactic antibiotic has been given as per our institutional antibiotic policy. Laziest or the dorsal incision will be given in the intermetacarpal spaces. Fracture site has been exposed, periostem is reflected, and fracture is reduced and fixed. We have fixed the site in all the different fractures, like circumosseous wearing, KVR, or the school plate, depending upon the, our criteria and our uh, randomization techniques. So, a standard procedure were followed for the KVR and the screw plate fixation. The fracture, which is fixed with a circumocious dented wiring, what we have done, we have not done the scoring on the bones. We have just taken two loops of this wire. Instead of one, we have taken the two loops of the wire and made around the metacarpal. After tightening the wire, the ends were tunneled laterally and buried so that they do not impose on the extensor tendon or other muscles. Periostem was closed, and the rest of the wound is also closed. Uh, we have given a splinters in 20 to 30 degree of wrist extension procedure uh, position along with 90 degree of uh, metacarpal fringes and flexions and interfringes and then 80 degree extension. So if you see in this photograph, this is what the fracture, this is an oblique transverse fracture. Here it is. And here we have done the two rotations of circumosteous wiring and the tight knot is on the lateral of this. So, statical analysis data has been collected. The statical analysis has been done. So, this is what our data, the age group along with the male and the female compositions. If you see, most of our patients are male and fall in the 21 to 30 age group. So, they are the active populations. So, how the mode of injury, as I had already talked to you, uh, mode of injury we have uh, noticed in the sub cases and most of the cases if you see are 
by the RTA or RTA injury and second is the sport injuries. So different type of fractures also we have uh, divided, uh, like uh, committed fracture, whether it's an oblique fracture, whether it's a transverse fracture, we have uh, done with that. So method of fixation also, if you see, committed fractures, oblique fractures, mostly oblique fractures where we have done the circumocious wiring and committed fracture is the second one. Transverse fracture, we have not done any circumocious wiring in such type of cases. In k wires we have done the oblique and the transverse. We have used the k wire but not in the counter fractures. Plating, we have done most of the places with the transverse. So if a transverse fracture from this, we have draw another inference in that. So if a fracture is transverse, the most ideal is the plating. That is the screw and plate. For in k wire the most ideal thing is either go with the circumocious wire or the k wiring. But for a counter you have to fix all the pieces. Use plating, oblique, uh, K wiring or circumstances wirings. So, uh, if you see in this type of cases, uh, the same thing with them, uh, the pain has been reduced after four weeks of follow up. You have seen this as compared to K wire and the plating. Swelling has also been reduced in cases of uh, circumstances wiring as compared to K wire and plating cases where we have done these type of management. And same thing with the stiffness too has been reduced as compared to other methods what we have used. The fourth criteria which we have studied in this step, uh, in our study is the fist formation after six weeks. That is whether the fist formation is the fist formation is complete or not, or whether the grip strength is adequate or not. You have seen in circumstances where patients are much more uh, comfortable and complete fist formation as compared to other methods at six weeks of uh, durations or follow-up. So to discuss this topic, uh, metacarpal fractures earlier treated by the simple immobilization or the conservative management. Uh, actually, we don't have these type of instrument or the implants which we are having right now. So in older days, just the conservative management is the most preferred method. External it does not maintain the reduction. That is what we earlier uses the external splintage. So the drawback is that it doesn't maintain the reduction. So then comes the open technique, which are very accurate, stable, and gives a very rigid fixations. We have seen that in the Goofer et al. Home, where I, uh, they have treated almost 21 uh, patients uh, and uh, uses uh, their circumstances wiring, but they have their own drawback, which we have, which he has already mentioned that he has for the bone for uh, making circumstances wiring stable these places, otherwise it will slip up. We have not done in these type of cases. We have not done in our studies also. In Quartan et al. has also done this type of cases where he has combined the circular wire with unicortical introsious loop wire uh, in his study. So result of fixation by various methods in our study were compared in terms of the pain, swelling, stiffness at the end of four week and the first formation at the end of six week. And we have seen all the results. So uh, what we have concluded in this case, what we have got with this study, that the metacarpal fractures who require a surgical intervention, that is open reduction and fixation, is to have a very rigid fixation for stability and for healing also, and to gain the early mobilization and minimal stiffness of the hands. Circumstances wiring as a very uh, simple, cheap, more forgiving, less demanding technique and does not require any implant in that case. So it's a very cheap also, given very satisfactory rigid fixation and result where as compared to other standard methods which are already being uh, laid on or already being doing. So this is what the result you can see that this is after four weeks and patient is having a complete uh, first formation with an adequate uh, strength. Thank you. Thank you very much.